And now is the time where we need to put our hands together for the next ambassador for the cause, Mr. Randeep Huda on the stage. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. You know, in movies, um, there are Avengers saving the planet. And I think I'm very privileged to be sitting amongst the real saviors of the world, the real Avengers. Thank you very much for all the champions, for all their contributions. Now, marine species are no lesser just because they've got an actor speaking about it. Um, the CMS aquatic environment is not less populated. The conservation of whales, sharks, rays, dugongs, eels are a priority for the CMS family. As fish stocks decline due to unsustainable fishing, bycatch and due to climate change, and as other protein sources are often scarce, many people rely on the ocean and this reliance is growing. Remember, coastlines are one of the most populated regions in the world, and that's true for my country as well, which means a greater pressure on the resources. Many parts of aquatic animals are sold in abundance. I have been informed that a working group of experts on aquatic white meat was established in 2018 under the CMS Scientific Council to gather information provide advice and work with other bodies. So thank you for that. To solve this uh, problem of over-exploitation and illegal killings, we need to take into consideration socio-economic aspects of the people. This conference is about connecting all parties for conservation, so we must connect with the local communities. Let's take conservation out of the conferences and to the local cooperation. Without their involvement and mindset change, it is just not possible to reach global goals. As they say, think globally, act locally. As is written in our Upanishads, Vasudeva Kundupakam, Kutumbakam, which means earth or the world is a family and it is all interconnected. All species have equal rights over the planet. These aquatic species take amazing migrations. I've seen the stories of Oliver Ridley turtles visiting coasts of India and of many other countries for mass nesting. These are natural extravaganza that need to be saved. Urgent actions are necessary to understand and address the risks associated with aquatic wild meat, taking account of species conservation, human health, and balancing sustainable livelihoods, especially for the poor communities. Reversing the negative population trends requires your financial support as well. So just like the oceans, Please dig deep. I, on a personal level, would like to contribute 100,001 rupees towards this, and I hope you can all follow suit. Ooh. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much, Lindy.